Here's the perfect gift for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. These are actually vases that I've turned into the trunk of a tree and kind of like a stem for a flower. So let's see what you'll need to make these vases. You're gonna start with a glass vase, some plaster cloth, a sponge, brushes, scissors, acrylic paint, and some blue gel glue. Now I'm gonna show you today how to make the, the tree vase, but you can make the green one, the, the two are made exactly the same. So we're gonna start with our vase, and the first thing you're gonna do is take the plaster cloth, this is exactly how it comes, and you're just gonna kinda lay it, your vase, on top of the cloth, and cut so that it's just a touch bigger than your actual vase. And then you're gonna cut this piece into strips. And I'm gonna guess that you need about 20 strips per vase. And I'm just cutting these, oh, roughly half inch to a quarter inch wide. It doesn't matter, the more variety, the more interesting it will look when you put them all together. Now to use plaster cloth, all you're going to do is dip each strip into a little bit of water and this is almost like paper mache. And then you just lay them down the side of your glass vase, like so. And you can just keep putting them next to each other. And you're just gonna smooth them out as you go. And then for the corners, you kind of wanna choose a piece of cloth that's a little bit wider, like this one I have here, because you can just lay it right over the corner and then just kind of squish it around the sides like that. And then what you would do is just keep going around the entire vase form, and then you'll have something like this. So now, you, at this point you could paint yours brown or green. We're gonna paint ours brown. And it's, I should also tell you, this takes about overnight to dry, but you could also speed it up with the hair dryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start painting this green, and you'll see that this still has, I'm actually using brown, <laughs> and you'll see that this still has all the texture from that really cool plaster cloth. And I'm using a lot of paint to sort of get into all those cracks and crevices. But you could also add a little bit of water to your paint and just let it seep in so you can see all the texture. It's up to you, it's your vase, so you can make it however you like. And that looks kind of neat. Once you get your entire vase coated with brown paint, leave it to dry, and that shouldn't take too long, maybe about an hour. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is actually how to sponge paint. And sponge painting is really fun because there's no rules and it's really easy. So I've got a sea sponge right here and this actually sea sponges come in kind of a big round ball, but you can cut it with scissors like this to make any size of sponge that you want. Okay, and you can use any side of the sponge to paint with. Let me clear off my counter here a little bit. So I've got a vase that I've been working on. It's nice and dry. And the next thing you're gonna do is, I've mixed a little bit of white and brown paint together, but I'm gonna add a little bit more brown because did you know that if you wanna make a lighter shade of a color, you just add brown. And I'm just mixing these a little bit here as we go on my palette. And that looks really, that looks really good. Just go ahead and keep adding white to your brown until you're happy with the color you have. And then you're gonna blot most of the paint off. In fact, this one, since I've been using it to mix, I'm just gonna grab a new sponge and pick up some paint. And now I can start adding some texture to my tree trunk. And it doesn't take much paint on your sponge to create all of this texture. You could add as many colors as you want, like some black, maybe some green, whatever you want. You could put little um, dots with the end of your paintbrush. 
really anything goes, but you wanna make sure that you get all around the top of the vase like this and down all of the sides. Once you get that entirely coated, now we're gonna put a nice glaze over the whole thing to make it really shiny. And even though this glue looks blue, when you paint, or when you, when you see it, when you paint it, it actually looks clear. So to make your vase shiny, you can just add a layer of this glue. And then that almost makes it look like glass. And that is how you make a tree trunk vase. Now, to fill your vase, you just go out into your backyard and it's probably a good idea to ask permission before you start cutting on one of your bushes or trees, but you can just put a regular tree branch in like the one I have here. But to add a little extra special something to make it fun, I wanna show you a little trick. I've got some monkey stickers right here and you just peel them off and put them on some cardstock. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but then what you're gonna do is just cut around the monkey shape, like the ones I have here. And then I've got some miniature clothespins and you can just clip your monkey in a tree. And I've got a whole bunch of them so we can have all his monkey friends monkeying around in this tree vase. Now let's take a look at this other vase I made that has a green stem. For it, all I've done is added a little bit of um, glitter pens to some felt. I strung them on some plastic lacing, wrapped them around this vase, and now it looks like these flowers are growing right out of this vase.